Hello, welcome back to Blue Lagoon. Uh, City Skylines, Blue Lagoon. That's the name of the place. And the game. Yep. Okay, so where we were last time, we were... Uh, trying to fix some of the problem areas, really. Like the rubbish problem. It just keeps building up. But we're getting there. We've uh, sorted out part of a traffic problem. Really good idea, actually. It was really working. It alleviated a lot of traffic problems. I don't know why I got a roundabout there. It seems kind of pointless. It's just... There could just be a road just going down there. I really don't know why I put a roundabout there. Yeah. Anyway. So the main focus of this episode is to expand. By that, we need houses. So I want to make houses as far as like these. I don't want to get any further than that. Maybe not that corner. I want them here. Like that. So now this should build up nicely. I think we checked the water yet. Yeah. We got a, the water just a bit there that needs connecting up and everything should be fine. So we're running out of room for um, our residences. When do we get these? Oh, we're very close to getting a high, dens den high density residential. So, at some point we'll be able to unlock this side. Which might be in the next, the next uh, thing, you know, the milestone. So let's keep expanding in other ways. Like commercial. Oh yeah, voice went a bit high then. Let's do it on these uh, outer limits. All around the uh, shopping district. going to be a very busy place. Lots of vans and lorries will be coming out of here. I think we satisfied a first for that. Industry, always a problem. Well, that's not always a problem. Residential is always a problem. So let's get what we need. But I haven't hooked that up yet either. Right, now that's all hooked up. There, now we've got a nice little grid there. All the demand is going down. I like this paintbrush. Just paint it in. Fire's a bit of a problem. So it might be worth getting a nice big fire station. Or well, we can put it right on the corner here. Uh, 
and then maybe moving that one to like down here. That's an improvement. So now as you can see the commercial demand has gone up again and the residential demand. So hard to keep on top of this but we want it to grow so it will grow. We've got a nice bit of space on this side for lots of commercial and I'll fill that right up and I'll fill up this square as well. So maybe that will shut them up for a while and as you can see the residential demand has gone skyrocketing again. So I'm eyeing up this space now for more houses. If you catch me. I like roundabouts so maybe I'm feeling another roundabout coming. like this and I'll plonk houses all around it is that the upgrade tool isn't it Uh, they're not too happy about that. But we just want to use up some of this space really. All along here. All along here. Connect up to there. So there's a nice little circle there. to upgrade some sound barriers on that highway and lots of curves and squiggles there we go and this can join up to here That'd be quite nice. I don't want to join up that road there. Um, because I'll probably join it up to the highway down here somehow. Maybe. Maybe. Not sure. Or just leave it as it is. But, this time I haven't forgotten to check the pipes, so, pipes all around. We're actually in a position where we're like, not struggling with money for once, and as you can see, we're not in any debt. But enough of that, I digress. Let's fill up this with lots and lots of houses. And then we'll decorate the roundabout. Because I like decorating the roundabouts. Oh, one square too many. Oh, there we go. That's one of the upgrades we wanted. The uh, extra area. So now we can get the incineration plant and offices and high density commercial and high density residential. That's awesome. 
Brilliant. So we can play around with that now. I think one of the biggest things will be to, once I've done this, is to set down a couple of um, incineration plants. Alright, but first, that's the square we want, so we'll purchase that. So now, in the future, we can put our high-density residentials along here and have them over-facing these smaller houses. What's the problem with people's sickness? What's the people just getting ill? Why are you so ill? Hmm? I don't want to put down another one of these. They're getting really ill. I put down like a small one. here. Space already occupied. Healthcare is so bad. Have another one just to sh shut you guys up? Alright, that's improved it a bit, I guess. That's for the future houses that are coming here. But yes. The incineration... Get out of the way. Incineration plant. That is what we want. How much is that? 30,000. So we can get a couple of them. And we can actually place one of them here. But it needs water. Does it need electric as well? Um, water. Doesn't look like it needs electric. Yeah, we desperately need another one, I think. So now, when we have a full one like this, and we empty it, they will... I don't know what they'll do. They'll drive around in a circle. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go along. And now we have no money again. But we do have demand. So, to help with further expanding, uh, nope. Maybe we can place some of this uh, high density commercial here. Just for the lows. That needs water, obviously. Drink.
Right, so we're at the point where demand isn't very high. And we spent all our money on those incineration plants. So now I guess it could be a bit of road planning. Now I've used up most of my space for... Um, for uh, this commercial, so I just need to expand it more and give myself some more room not quite sure how I want it to look So I don't want it being all just blocks everywhere. That's a bit weird. How does that work? There you go. Perfect road planning there. These aren't just one way, are they? They better not be. No, I don't think they are. Alright, so we've got a bit more space there to play with. And demand for residential is going up slowly again as we build up our empire. I think now the course of action is to do something with this roundabout. Um, adding my Paths. Like that. I've got a thing for doing this such thing. just nice for people to be able to like cut across areas so not everyone has the luxury of driving a car Space already occupied. That's a pain. Can I? Oh, I don't want to do that. That's. I like that line. Maybe I can put it a different. Where am I going? Right. Maybe I can curve it off this way into it. No. Curve it off this way into it. No. This way. That works. And then then we'll get rid of that. And then it can go down to there. That somehow works in some strange mysterious way. And 
because we like lots of paths. Oh, I don't know what that fucking did. Oh, that looks horrible now. Oh, please, get rid of that. Oh, no. All I hear is alarms and... Ah, what did I do? I ruined it. Oh, I ruined it. Now it's an egg. Right. Problem solved. Now we'll just do the same as we did before. Let's just learn from my mistakes. There. That should be enough. What's the tree situation looking like? No? Bushes? Why can't we play bushes? is with all the sirens as well. It's just so many sick and clumsy people. So let's just do some tree placement. Just to hide some of these Uh, you know, higher up paths with uh, with some trees, and I'll just spread around some random trees around here because I'm not quite liking the uh, space there is around here. space here I don't like either. Maybe I can add a, a path. And join it up. Yeah. And then give the path a tree line. I know I'm using different types of trees, but I don't care. It's just filling a bit of the space because it looks nicer from a distance when there's a bit of foliage. I'm not going to do it everywhere, I'll just do it in the rough, like, area. There you go. I think I just placed a tree there, didn't I? Yeah. So it looks alright from a distance. There's lots of sirens going off because there's lots of sick people. But there's not a lot we can do about that. And we've successfully, in this episode, I believe, we've successfully expanded by about 2,000 people, which I'm really happy about. 
and expanded opened up this area so in the next episode we could start planning our uh, our larger buildings sorry larger buildings so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye